I would say one of the best points or things that we can do to prepare ourselves for Ramadan is just to have the intention from now. Have the intention from now. And by the way, intentions, when you entertain an intention and a desire for something, it keeps working in the background of your mind, in the back end of your mind. It keeps working and generating and it gives you so much stamina and strength. Why? Because just entertaining the intention builds up in your mind and in your heart. So when Ramadan comes, you will be surprised how much stamina and strength you have. Because your mind has been working on this, on this intention. So have the intention from now to make sure that this Ramadan is going to be a time where we'll just get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where, where I will take one step more ahead to become a better Muslim. You know, don't make big plans. You're not going to become Shaykh al-Islam in Ramadan. You're not going to become the most righteous human being on earth in Ramadan. It's not going to happen. Let's be realistic. But make a good plan. Define a good goal. Get something good out of this Ramadan. To the point where you come out of Ramadan a better Muslim. A better Muslim. Choose one or two areas in your life where you want to improve yourself as a Muslim. Maybe you want to introduce some new act of worship to your, to your life, lifestyle. Maybe just pray two rak'ah of Qiyam al-Layl every night. Maybe that's it. Maybe you don't pray in the masjid often. So you say, I'm going to pray, let's say, every Isha, every day, I'm going to pray Isha at the masjid. I want to work in Ramadan, work on myself to get to a point where I can commit myself to pray Isha at the masjid every day throughout the year. Oh, you haven't been having fasting during the year say so i'm going to develop the habit of fasting three days every month three days every month and i want ramadan to be the start of it the beginning of it as i said don't make huge big plans then you'll be frustrated you'll come out of ramadan frustrated disappointed feeling guilty feeling bad about yourself and probably blaming allah subhanahu wa ta'ala why doesn't allah help me let's be realistic and this is actually in line with the advice of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that you know easy goingness being gradual and patient with things it beautifies things that's the way to go about doing things and that's why the prophet sallallahu also reports كان صلى الله عليه وسلم عمله ديمة. the prophet وسلم, his actions used to be consistent وكان يحب من العمل ما كان أدو, uh, the best deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the deeds that Allah prefers the most and Allah loves the most, are the deeds and the actions that are consistent. Even if they are small, even if they are little. So with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not really about praying every night, praying 20 rak'ah. It's not really about finishing the Qur'an in five days. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, he said, Wallahi, if I read one verse with contemplation and understanding its meanings and taking it in, is better for me than to read the whole Quran hadhan. He says Arabic in Arabic hadhan, just going over it. So with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's all about quality. It's all about quality, it's all about the impact that it has on your heart. It's not about going through the motions. It's about your, 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 the, the experience in your heart. So these are things inshallah to pay attention to.